surprised to find that, you know, being able to relate to somebody that age, I mean, I, I think that's important because you can sit and we can talk to people our age, your age, or, you know, maybe in their, even in their 30s, but somebody who's just starting out in life that listens to that, that's unusual. That's really unusual. And she's got an opportunity. She said, I'm out here doing this because I believe I can get a message out and I can make a difference. And I just, I think that's pretty amazing. So it gave me hope. <laughs> you know, it gave you said, oh, you never know. You never know who, what match is going to get lit and where it's going to get things set on fire. you got to learn to love yourself. Before you can give honest, pure, and I'm not talking in the sexual, I'm talking in all, forgiveness and everything else, love to anybody else. And one of the hardest people, or one of the hardest things for people to do is to love themselves, because if there's nobody better on this earth that knows them better than themselves. So they know if they're a walking book with a beautiful cover and filthy inside or not. They know it. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people, they, they say, how can I, you know, a lot of people want to deny there's a God because they, they are, well, all of them know better, first off, but nevertheless, they, they want to deny it because uh, they literally, can't believe a creator can love them the way they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so they they can't love themselves because they can't believe anybody can love them. Mm -hmm. uh, in sexual matters, yes, or something like that, you know, they can find anybody to hop in bed with them. I don't care how ugly they are, men or women, somebody will do it. But uh, uh, leeches, you know, it, uh, a woman will pick up a man because she's got low self-esteem, and the man's a leech. He'll let her do absolutely everything, including earning all the money and uh, just be nothing but a stud, and and more than likely a husband that beats or a boyfriend that beats or down brows or something like that. And, and these people are in these positions because they have not believed that any loving creator, or any creator at all, could possibly love them. And they put themselves in more and more and more dirt. They start out on, on pretty solid ground and, and they get shaky and turn it into quicksand. And then they're deep underground in this quicksand, in this mud, and uh, it makes it worse on them themselves. The creator, you know, uh, it, it takes an extremely poor parent to not love a child, uh, despite what the child does. Well, our Creator is not that way at all. He is the one that made us. He is the one that loves us, and He loves you just the way you are. And when people realize that, then they can pull out of that quicksand right. and uh, learn to love themselves and, and be astounded that they could actually look at themselves in the eyes of the Creator, like looking like they're in His brain, in His heart, and see that there is no condemnation there. It's let's get up, let's go ahead, let's change our ways, let's take a bath, let's clean up a little bit. I love you, child. Yes, you did that, you did this, big deal. What kid doesn't screw up when it's growing up? And, and so what? You're 80 years old, screwing up to the Creator. He's a whole heck of a lot older than 80. <laughs> so you're still a baby to him, still a kid. And uh, uh, it's amazing. It, uh, the people have got to learn how to love and, they, and love themselves mm -hmm. and, and then reach up and pat Daddy on the face and give him a big hug and kiss. And, and with him holding your hand, go on through life and, and raise up above all the things that you've done and raise up and, and be that girl in Hollywood, you know, there to make a difference. Mm -hmm. She's shaped like any other girl in Hollywood. And the other ones, what are they doing, you know? Mm -hmm. But she's chose to do something different. 
And she knows when she's being looked at and talked to because she's attractive. She's very pretty, very sweet, you know, bouncy kind of girl. And she, she knows. She recognizes when somebody's approaching her because of her looks. And she kind of says, no, we're just talking about business. Okay, let me get this clear. This is business. We're, okay, if you're not interested in talking business to me, then you don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. So she is real clear about the games that are being played. And she said, you know, sometimes I get, I get in that door because of how I look. And that's okay. Because once I'm in there, I'm talking business. You know, so she really, she's pretty sharp, you know. Uh -huh. She's very aware, but she's got now her standards, and she knows what she wants, and she's not going to settle. She said, I, I now realize what it can be. I didn't know before it can be like this. And now I can't go back. She has grown to learn to be a self-respecter. Mm -hmm. And uh, the... She has learned to know right from wrong, uh, not just in the sight of the Creator, but in the sight of her, the temple. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a hard experience to learn it, and it's even harder to break into using that learning. But as you do it more and more, it's less and less hard. Well, that's what she says. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah, she, she as a matter of fact, she talked to us, she said, if I had an opportunity to get you in to do some television, she said, it seems to me that what people need so much is a way to find themselves. They're back to who they really are on mm -hmm. the inside, away from all of this that we've been sold and conditioned and brainwashed and commercialized into being their own person, feeling good about themselves, even if somebody doesn't like it. Even if they say, I'm not going to love you unless you do such and such, then you say, fine, i I got to go on. To have the courage to do those things, which she's learned on her own, that it may be tough and your friends may think you're crazy and they may want to walk away from you, but you really can't do any, you can't stop. you got to live for yourself. You have to live for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, friends, we better turn this off. I call the wife. I'll try oh, right. Let's talk. Uh, Tell her to get something going. Like a boss in the kitchen. Okay. We are about to uh, do power reading of scripture. This is what will happen. You will... Uh, uh, you might do better with the camera over here. <laughs> I don't know. You will... Wow! This microphone is having trouble. Well, here, we can... You don't want to clip it on me, that's for sure. <laughs> that was going to go on. Anyway, uh, this is the way. It is power reading. And it is the way. And as far as I can tell, the only way. So far, I don't know of any other way. The Holy Spirit. Uh, there might be other ways. I, I haven't thought it of having the the Bible, many Christians say that it's a living word. Well, they don't know how alive it is. And uh, every single word, with an exception of the and a occasionally, uh, do not do this. But they do connect the other, you know, the word in front of it and behind it. And it's necessary to have it. But uh, with those two exceptions only, uh, every single one word throughout the, the Old and New Testament will actually expand the knowledge that God has put, had put, you know, by had, he, I'm not past tense, but he had it made that way. The power of the Creator is in each single word. And by reading it this way, you will learn that you don't need anybody telling you what God meant. This is a personal thing between you and Him. It's as if you're actually listening to His voice, but it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's an experience you've got to learn <laughs> And there's, there's no way to really uh, explain it. You've got to, you've got to experience it. And 
uh, Richard, you might have trouble with this because you're a quiet guy. Mm. I'm going to expect you to.